Welcome back, everyone, to Vanilla Hoi 4. After playing as German Reich, um, last time we uh, expanded a little bit. And also, off screen, we did get Slovenia too. So that's pretty nice. Oh, we get a scorched earth here too. But hmm. Albert Schmidt's industrial plan questioned. A bitter power struggle was broken up between the rivals of the, uh, Mr. Adolf's inner circle. Tensions have risen as Albert Schmidt gained influence and increased authority. For it's taught, Abba Schmidt and him and Goring have been invoked by each other's methods about how to best manage German industries and arms production, all the while vying for Adolf's, Mr. Mustache Man's favor. Complete trust of the fear. Huh. Now we're doing fate of the Czechoslovakians. The time has come to divide the old Czech lands between those who can govern them properly, which I'll consider the creation of a separate Slovak puppet state to the west east. Hmm. Replaces a Reich architect with a Reich minister of armaments. It's not bad. So this way we won't get Gorings. It's not terrible. And we won't get talked in this one. Appoint him. Him. I wish bell. We're gonna go with him. That's cool. So really at this point we're just trying to race down and get everything as we can as possible. Danzig for Slovakia? Or Danziger War? We'll definitely do Danziger War. Uh, but we're going to do first Ljubljana War. The hypocritical Western powers preached self-determination self while handing over many minorities to be ruled by the Serbs. We're in a position to right that historic wrong and make friends at the same time. For those who wish to side with us in the European order, we can be very generous. Uh, one of the comments from that yesterday uh, said, We should uplift the Rosenberg office. There are many things that need to be properly coordinated within the Reich, including governance and control of occupied territories, as well as internal surveillance and the entire intellectual and ideological education of the party. All these things should be centrally decided upon and controlled from the Rosenberg office, seeing as Rosenberg is an important party theorist and ideologue. That'd be cool. So right now, I'm kind of in a race to try to make sure that we have enough divisions to do whatever we need to. Um, yeah, we're not in a good spot. We're actually lacking quite a few guns, but guns can always be bought. Planes are okay. I'm okay with planes. Um, we have five research slots like we said last time. We're doing okay. We don't have enough of an industry yet, really, and I'm more concerned about how... MFO bills are gonna hit us. How hard and how badly they're gonna hit us, so. Um. I'm not as good at speed. Oh, no, I wanted uh, this guy. Alright, anyways. Bulgaria seeks blocking claims warranted. A delegation from the Tsar and Bulgaria is approaching government asking for German support for the claims in the Balkans and seeking to secretly negotiate and secure Bulgarian territorial expansion in the region in the near future. In exchange for the Bulgarian alignment with the German Reich and the German country's entry into the Axis. Of course. Well, we'll recognize their claims. And I want to do fate of Yugoslavia. I can get this one done. The Yugoslav state was always an artificial uh, construct, and central authority has started to collapse. We must step in to restore order. The only question is we face what would be the best way to handle this. Well, we definitely have to do Molotov Ribbentrop Act. <clears throat> a treaty of friendship and non aggression with the USSR. Might turn the stomach, but that allow the precious oil to keep flowing into Germany. The secret addendum will divide the territories of Romania, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, and Finland into the German and Soviet spheres of influence. Um, is there anything we need to make for 1939? Survivability studies, I like armor. But our armor, our artillery, I should say. Alright, fate of Czechoslovakia. Question of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. Uh, the end of the Czechoslovakia is at hand, and our forces are marching into Prague at the very moment. With the surrender of the Czechoslovakian military, we have liberty of vast quantities of armaments. Their tanks, in particular, should serve our forces as well. Bremen will be annexed into Germany as a protectorate, but what should become of Slovakia? He set them up as a town as puppet state under T Tizo. Danzig for Slovakia. Vesa Ubung. <coughs> Fully controlling Norden will deliver high grade ore from Sweden via Navik every month. So in one additional offshore city every six months, a maximum of eight. <coughs> it can be interrupted if control or Norden is lost. If the UK successfully invades Sweden and sabotages his mines, or Sweden blows them up, the civilian factories will be permanently lost. Shipments can be resumed if mines are resumed. <coughs> Utilize a Nordische Gesellschaft. Huh. Well, we'll do this one anyways. With the Czechoslovak Republic out of the picture, the balance of power in Southeastern Europe has shifted dramatically. Czech arms and money were being used to support a number of countries that now you need to look for new sponsors, perhaps to turn around the Prince Paul effect. That's right. <clears throat> um, 
Put the squeeze on them first. <laughs> They're military training. We could. Weapons for electronics, very nice. Is there any point to dismantle the forts? As we really need to build more forts much more fastly. Oh. Huh. I'm Brandenburg. What do we do? A super heavy howitzer. Do we have two now? Do we get something here? Or? <clears throat> Stronghold. Complex network of heavily fortified bunkers and strong points built to withstand intense assault and protect critical strategic locations from enemy incursions. Or super heavy howitzer. I like that super heavy howitzer. <clears throat> we still need an air one, but I just want to build more millies right now. We need millies really badly. And we need some, <clears throat> excuse me, medium tanks. It's already March 1939, so that's not good. Output speed. There we go. Oh. All right, what do we got here? Go two man. This is a medium tank, so <clears throat> go the medium cannon. Oh, that destroyed a lot of reliability. Woo! Oh no. Wait. Oh, it's tank destroyer roll. Well, it's alright for now. Hmm. <laughs> Forbids the medium tank rule. It's better. Costs too much. We can do this and go faster. Hundred percent, yeah. I don't like the fast tanks. Slap on five. Um, when we start facing them out, those ones, so. Start making those. Kingdom of Hungary launches Allied Manufacturing Program. Oh! Our Allied Kingdom of Hungary initiated a program to jointly develop aircraft in our nation and our faction. <clears throat> and as such, started by investing in our development in order for the future for their own. I'm going to be sure, yeah. See what happens here. Yugoslavia. Hmm. Let's do that one first. Five more divisions, not bad. I'll send you other two here. If we're going to attack anybody, probably be set up to strike into Yugoslavia. 
You can solve it can be the flashpoint. Hmm. Not bad, special forces attack. And cap. I like the recovery rate. Nice. Good. Keep building this up. Good. I'm getting us ready for 1940s fighters. Very important to have. And then we'll have to do Molotov Ribbon Drop Act. And then research Eastern Claims. The Great War lost all the loss of much of German territory in the East with the resurrection of Poland and the transfer of Mimel to Lithuania. An ultimatum shall be sent to both nations, but Poland at least. Ooh. Uh, will likely not bother me your words. Oh, as development progresses, a critical decision must be made. We can prioritize fast production and smaller caliber guns, or we can invest in bigger and heavier guns, sacrificing production efficiency for unparalleled firepower and devastating impact. Keep balance. Click to see effects. No changes. Focus on firepower, more cost, more soft attack, extra collateral damage, focus on fast production. Last soft attack. Well, that's, why would we do that? You know, um, there's no point. We're getting a super heavy howitzer. I don't mind if it costs a little bit more. Focus on firepower, heck yeah. Let's fed Yugoslavia. We always knew that the Yugoslav state carved out of the Habsburg Empire was an artificial country, faded and never last. The ethnic resentment simmering under the surface. As bold over and the state is falling apart, we must step in and rectify the situation. Annex all of it. Make a Croatian puppet, annex the rest. Uh, I want Croatia. I don't see what happens with Croatia. They refuse. Are they guaranteed? They are guaranteed. Interesting. And they're backed by Romania. We can get them as a puppet as well. So, we're going to leave them alone for now. Because we have to deal with these guys. We're training. So Poland's really going to be the flashpoint again. But they're going to be alone and isolated. The way we like them. Which is fine. I want, uh, let's see. Where are you guys at? You guys gonna hold, but we're not really gonna hold. Because I'm sending my tanks to this direction too. Um actually you know what you can hold there. You can find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe no, maybe not. I don't know. There you go. Figure it out. No six hundred fighters? I think so. Yeah, we've been producing quite a few fighters, which is actually awesome. What do you guys? Stacked bombers. Let's see. Fighters, fighters, fighters. Let's support. Fighters, fighters. Good. You're the naval bombers. You are fighters. We produce a lot of fighters. Because if you don't have enough fighters, you might as well not fly. Uh, fighters, 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 closer support, good. Mm -hmm. mm, you know what, I can send you here and do this. Go bomb their air bases. And maybe into here. And what do you guys got? Fighters, nice. Another thing, naval bombers would be nice. Good. Italy's pursuing closer bonds, sure guys. Yeah, come on, join the party. Incoming raids detected in Curacao. Well, yeah, it is what it is. More. Until the economy crashes. But that's why we're gonna go to war. How are they war? Uh, they must have been bugged. So at war with Ethiopia. Huh? Am I on a treaty with them? Research Eastern Claims. 
Moscow signs a pact. The Soviet Union is wildly agreed to our non aggression pact. This means we're free to act without risk of Soviet intervention. Unfortunately, some of our friends now question Germany's commitment towards the ultimate destruction of communism. When matters with Poland and France have been settled, we may need to revisit the treaty, but that is a discussion for another time. Awesome. We're going to research stuff ahead of time. It's fine. Ah, look at that radar. Great. tanks. Not a lot of medium tanks. That's alright. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is a 70 folks still. Claims in the Baltic. Influence in the Baltic. Danzig war. Danzig was German, Danzig has remained German, and Danzig shall be German from now on. If Poland does not see the territory, we must prepare the German people for the inevitable war. Danzig and the surrounding lands will return to Germany. My apologies for not being able to go to war uh, exactly then, but uh, uh, Lithuania folds. Lithuanian government has agreed to our demands, and the will be incorporated back in East Prussia. Yet yeah, another unlawfully stolen province has been returned to the German nation. Excellent. Awesome. No, we're not going to war with freaking Ethiopia. <clears throat> Approved oil processing. Awesome. Probably. We're gonna need them. We'll convert divisions over to become Marines. Red guns, nice. About halfway, and then we'll uh, turn everybody to shore. Press censorship. Yeah, why not? Sounds like fun. Now we gotta save this, save this fleet for all the uh, things we're gonna be doing here. Mm. I like torpedo cooldown. Demonia craft armor. Really, the worst ones I've ever chosen. Ooh. All right. Nope. Burma. Very nice. Well, I think we're pretty much good to go. Are you touching any of the allies anywhere here? Uh, Africa, and they're gonna lose Africa probably. But I'll be moving fast enough. I'm not worried about these guys over here. Um, I left these places undefended, which is not great, but still. Oh, uh, sure. There we go. We're about to lose all our fuel. Not ideal. It is what it is. Just in case, um, 
I'm gonna start doing missions here, which you don't have enough range, but whatever. You guys are gonna fly here too, you don't have enough range either. That's pretty normal. And Hmm. I did not give any caps earlier. That's my fault. We're gonna need a lot of naval bombers to take out that German no. Not German. The British Navy. Alright, they refused. Down to go war. So I guess I'm gonna put you over here. Both start naval invading us. Whatever. Influence of Benelux. Form the Roman Rome Berlin Axis. Extend German influence around the Maginot. Um, what do you need to do this one next? And we'll do that to counter impact. Let's save. We're just gonna have a small little war. A small war. Oh. They refuse. Despite our attempts to allow Poland to hand over Danzig peacefully, even bound to give up our claims on other German territories in exchange, we've been met with a refusal. As expected, the world gives nothing to us that we do not seize by force. They very know what the alternative is. And there we go. Agent captured, of course. Mm. Ooh, you know what? We'll do all right here, why not? My bad. Forget about the convoys here. I do have some subs, though. Hmm. My bad. going along according to plan. Uh, better anti-air would probably be great. We're going to raid. Uh, decrease the chance of successful defense. Ah, air. Anti-air. Interception. Hmm. Maybe the interception instead. Ah, I forgot to send divisions over there too. Hey, sunk to self, that's nice. Lost two convoys, but whatever. Hey, welcome back, guys. For now, you're just gonna help garrison stuff. Oh, look at that. Guard borders. Oh, that's different. You never know with this DLC. They got the Damarung DLC. You never know. Ah, look at Poland. Twelve or so. Kill the French subs. Bunch of bastards. Ah, so what do we have? Siege Polish gold reserves. Yeah, why not? Campaign instructions against France. Hmm. Forty-five days. Utilize the domestic film industry. The German film industry developed significantly in the last decade. With the population strive for entertainment, will stand a benefit from a cinematic production designed to stir up patriotic sentiments. Albert. In an effort to improve the public opinion towards the war effort, our propaganda minister selected the exceptional <clears throat> Hello. Uh, production, cinematic production, Kohlberg, a sublime viewing experience with a strong patriotic sentiment for screening across the country. We hope this heralds the beginning of a long and historic tradition for a patriotic film industry, but the results have so far been excellent. A masterpiece. Great job, everybody. Oh, 
I'll be honest, I don't want to wait that long to uh, take these guys out. Hello. Hey. Very nice. And the League of Nations. Nope. Oof. What are we importing? Oh, it's like the fuel from across the ocean, that's why. Throw maybe a little anti air there, maybe. It would help if you could see the special projects where you actually put them. If we want to show our tactical advantage against France, we need to be able to hit them from all sides. They don't expect an attack from the north, which is exactly where we'll hit them from, once we dispose of a few obstacles. Good. Partitioning opponent. Poland is ours, but the eastern parts fall under the Soviet sphere of influence, according to the stipulations of the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Should we withdraw our forces and let the Soviets occupy this territory? Yeah, you do so, would rather render our treaty void. First. Honor it. Germany and Soviet Union already made agreements to partition Poland between its east and west halves. However, our occupation of the east has caused something of a complication in this arrangement. Lord German allies, below you expect will surrender this promised Polish territory to the Soviet Union. We said break the pact and continue our occupation. We are okay. We got one little pesky thing called Belgium in our way. Ah, the Axiom Soviets. Ah, look at this guy. Alfred Rosenberg. With the capture of new territories comes resistance and a need for effective administration. As such, Reich's Minister Alfred Rosenberg has proposed the creation of special occupation regimes, which he refers to as the Reichskommissariat, which will help in controlling the local population and dealing with the resistance fighters on a more local level than a regular forces could. Establish a general government. Improve his trade up to 10 times. Better consumer goods, military factory construction, speed factory output. <clears throat> Losing one of the puppet states under Alfred Rosenberg's jurisdiction will weaken this trait. Huh. Every required state other than Krakow uh, comes under the control of the general government. Bowman and Maurin. Rex comes out of Niederlande. You may have the general government. Now that we establish a new civilian administration in southern Poland, we must decide not only on the purpose of a new subject, but also who will lead the people in the region, and ensure that our policies are properly implemented. Should we place a German politician in the position of Governor General, or should you utilize a local collaborationist? A local collaborator. This is cool. Hans Frank. And they have unique books. You know, they have a generic one, which is actually pretty strong. Eventually, I do want to release all these. Boom and modern, but I want to keep these for now because we do need factories. Oh, did we get the radar done already? Nice. It's not much, but something. We go literally just go straight on into these guys and then kill them out that way. That way, North Africa is more uh, open. Since we made our factories too. Um, let's see. Where are. Did I not make naval bombers? I Yeah, they did. They're right here. Yeah. We're going to need a lot of naval bombers. Turn pressure towards the Benelux. Good. Those bad boys on there. Um, do we have enough anti air now? No, but that's okay. We have enough anti tank. Or even arty. No. But that's okay. 
We're going to go in anyways. <clears throat> Ooh, Operation Tannenbaum. Swiss Gold. I like that. Operation Sea Line. We'll do that eventually. From the Rome Berlin Axis. Towns may be untrustworthy, as they proved in the Great War, but Mussolini's fast movements have shown that there is hope for Italy yet. Surely Germany only stands to gain only by allying all Italy, does it not? Operation Felix. Becomes a puppet of the except. Alliance with Spain. Hmm. Form Zentroplano. <clears throat> oh, it goes straight to work on me. That'd be pretty nice. I've ignored a lot of stuff here, haven't I? More initiative. Equipment ca capture ratio, equipment speed. Oh. Advanced plans of research. Plan Z. Admiral Reda believes the British can be best defeated through a policy of service rating. Constructing enough battleships and carriers to accomplish this will be a massive task and will take time, perhaps too much time. On the other hand, our current service navy is pathetically inadequate. But they haven't played Holy Four when they did it, did they? We're gonna pour into France. Hello. Oh, they're forcing the defense. Wow. Come on. We'll take stuff. It's almost 1940. The White Death. Slavin has been wounded. Bro. They're just stacking bodies here, man. Come on. There we go. Ooh. That's cool. Super heavy howitzers. Very nice. Well, we're slowly going into France. Slowly getting there. Supplies, not so great, but that's okay. Plan Z. Expand the Kriegsmarine Wirtschaft. Kriegsmarine Vet. Hmm, what do I want instead? Through the USSR, we're going to pursue a new research treaty with the USSR in order to develop chiefly better tanks. <clears throat> and they agree. We can open the tank school we did close down in Kama in 1933. Soviet cooperation will, of course, mean they will too benefit from the innovations made. Ah, good. Destroy those stupid frickin' tank divisions. Oh, you know what? Why don't I not activate this? Siege Belgian Gold Reserves, yeah. They are taking way more damage than we are. Triumph of France. Our victory in France is nearly complete. The French government has asked uh, for an armistice and their diplomats have prepared terms for which they have agreed to. They were taking control of southern France and were free to occupy the rest. I'm okay with that.
Kill off those British boys. Death of Rudolf Hess. Deputy Fuhrer. Rudolf Hess was killed yesterday when he, the Royal Air Force intercepted the heavy fighter he was flying off on the coast of Scotland. The exact nature of the mission remains unclear. Although Hess was an accomplished pilot, he flew alone. His airplane does not have been armed. His remains were recovered by the British authorities, but the safe funeral with an empty coffin has been scheduled in Berlin. Hitler was reported as being visibly distraught by the death of his old friend, that poor fool. Yeah, pretty much. Quite a bit. So now where are we at? 20%. Not bad. I'm not joining the build here anyways. So now what? Italy's doing okay, actually okay in Africa. They haven't lost Ethiopia yet. They're trying in North Africa. Desperately trying. And next, we're going to go to uh, extensive conscription. Ah, it doesn't have for the Marines. Good. Extra collateral damage. I want to make some just to say we're going to make some. Do what I want for now, though. Kingdom of uh, question of Yugoslavia. Now that we stand supreme in Europe, France was long in the foundation of stability in southeastern Europe, but now the entire area is up for grabs. Good. We can pull all the nations there in our orbit with no one left to stop us. Time to tell the Yugoslavians that they make a choice. Either they stand with us or be swept away. No. They're gonna die. They chose their fate long ago. Now I can continue doing all this stuff too. Frank Reich. Hmm. War bonds. Oh, Plan Z. Whoops. We'll get there when we get there. We'll have to fight the Romanians as well. Interesting. Call you and we'll call you as well. Ah, call everybody and why not? Japan proposes the Tripartite Act. Tripartite Act. Japan. <clears throat> uh, Send a feeler to ascertain our interest in the three powers pact between ourselves, the Japanese, and Italians. The uh, Japanese argue that it is imperative <clears throat> that we support each other. <clears throat> and in light of an increasingly hostile global opinion directed against our efforts. Sure, why not? They're moving in, but whatever. Japan also signs it. Anti-Commenter Pact. Interference by the Communist Internationals in the internal affairs of the nations not only endangers the internal peace and social well-being, but is also meant to the peace of the world. We'll ask many of the non-Communist countries to sign the pact and make sure that we keep the Red Mask in check. Military achievements. Oh. That'd be great. V3, multi-charge, large caliber gun. 
So propelled artillery, strong network. Uh, operating on the principle of multi charge propulsion, this large caliber gun is designed to achieve unparalleled ranges in bombardment. Utilizing a series of underground tunnels, it accelerates shells at supersonic speed before launching them towards distant targets. That sounds like fun. The Soviets accept. Our negotiations with the Soviet Union has been successful. An agreement has been reached where our nations will aid each other in the development of new armored units with possible extension to other research areas in the future. Should it be a stepping stone to the future. Awesome. Ooh. Planes. Romania chose really poorly. The Slavians good. Margo by the US, whatever. Operation Boulevard disrupted in Brazil. Our intelligence services have informed us that a number of their operatives and informants in Brazil have ceased communications as of late. It appears that something has occurred during, uh, to disrupt our operations in the country, possibly a counterintelligence uh, initiative in conjunction with our enemies. Regardless of the cause, it's indicative of a shift in Brazilian policy toward detriment and should receive expected removes from them in the future. German Soviet Trade Agreement. The Soviet ambassador contacted our diplomats proposing a trade agreement between our countries. According to the proposal, the Soviet Union will send us raw materials such as grain, con, oil, metal ores, and rubber. In exchange, the Soviets received an incomplete hyperclass cruiser, plans for another military vessels, and heavy naval guns, and samples of German aircraft. This agreement will undoubtedly help us in the war effort against the hostile nations in Europe, allowing us to find the means to evade the British blockade. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Boy, it's a flat suck or what? Campaign instructions? Sure. My friend Japan. We have long had a fruitful relationship with China, but our ambitions might be better served by instead allying with our kindred warrior culture of Japan. Even means throwing China to the wolves. Japan's not doing well at all. Wow. That's really bad for them. At least we got the supply lines fixed, pretty much. I'll just power. I'm going to ask Hungry for. There we go. Save modifiers. Oh, nice. That's very ugly here. That's all right. That being said, but do we not have enough planes now? Ah, we're out of rubber. Not good. Trade away, trade away for what we need for now. We'll build more if we need to. Battle of Britain. Herman Goring is eager to show off the case of superiority to Lupov and to break the spirit of the British people. He aims to do this by bombing London's iconic landmark, the Big Ben. He argues this will bring the United Kingdom to heel and shore in the war. Well, the person guarantees us that not a single bomb hit Berlin during this campaign, or you can call him him and Maya. Let him try. Uh, we can try, I guess. Don't think it's gonna go very well for us, though. 
Self-propelled, massive artillery piece. <clears throat> With greater maneuverability in the battlefield than its towed counterpart while accommodating an even larger caliber. <clears throat> mm. Sure. God dang it, I am. Secretary General. A group of Belgian civil servants approached with an offer. Allow them to continue the work in the civic office. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they'll show that local governments will continue to function smoothly in the time of transition. The Belgian government has passed legislation to make the collaboration with us legal and need to bid to reduce the impact impact of the occupation of the peoples. They even sanction Belgian banks to continue the way to pay the wages of these administrators. It's an opportunity for us to show willingness to work with these locals and go some way to relieving active resistance in the region. Huh. No need more political power. Interception, it's fine. Because we're going to need to find some way to get in there. And naval invade? That was going to be a pain in the butt. Republican Poor Sino uh, Relations. Second Ljubljana Award. With the Yugoslav question solved, now it's time to turn attention to Greece. They have two been unjustly aggrandized by allies. It's time to see who our friends really are. Outbush and Vesa Ubon. Influence of the Baltics. Expand claims on the Baltics. The Baltics is particularly situated between us and the Soviet Union. With some diplomatic effort and mutually beneficial offers, we should be able to align them more closely to us without the need for conflict. Mm. War has exposed shortcomings in our armament efforts. Shortcomings we must address. By forming a central planning board with members from the government, the industry, and the military, we can coordinate economic policies and redirect resources efficiently. The bulls for arms production and support of national goals and, and supremacy. Military supremacy. What was this? Oh. From the Yacht Defense? Oh. Dive bombers. From the Yacht Waffa. Which from a Yacht Waffa, a dedicated force of fighter aircraft to secure air superiority. Combining rigorous training, advanced tactics, and cutting edge technology, we will dominate the skies and allow our land force to roll across the battlefield, shaking the ground like thunder. Aeronautical Research Institute. Air warfare has grown in importance and complexity since the Great War. But since the Treaty of Versailles forbade us from fielding an air force, we've been lagging behind aircraft and aircraft development. Try me this. Must build a Luftfahrtforschungsanstalt or an Aeronautical Research Institute. Develop an innovative airframes, engines, and weapons to secure air, uh, secure air supremacy. Well, as you can see, we've naval invaded, um, and we're sending in the entire army here to help out. I guess I could send in my tanks too. Uh, it wasn't really that bad of a naval invasion. Sent in with the Marines, but we lost two of the Marine divisions. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, but we're doing okay. London has fallen. Uh, one of the comments saying, Is this a mod? No, this is uh, the new DLC. We got to Damarung from Hearts of Iron 4. Can you not do that, please? Get to play with at least, very least, or something like this. Uh, we've been starting to sink convoys all across the area here, surrounding the UK. We just lost an uh, intelligence agent. Intelligency. Intelligence agency unit, so. But yeah, um, not bad. Sorry, in Bulgaria seeks to join the Axis. As the criminal peoples and the international com politics continue to reverberate throughout the world, the Bulgarians have deemed us to be the greatest chance of surviving these tumultuous times. They therefore request to be remitted into our alliance, so we weather the coming storm together. Of course. Welcome. Yeah, not bad. Bulgarian occupation granted. As previously agreed, we have ordered the transfer of control over territories which they currently occupy by Axis powers, and claims by the German Reich. Which will henceforth be administered by the German government. Part of their bargain, German Italian Trade Agreement, or Technology Treaty. <clears throat> it will suggest an exchange of a technology and ideas will bring our nations closer to make it stronger. Sure. Alright, so let's uh, return some of these units to these guys. There you go. Only 1940, September. Uh, scientist, huh? Here. I'm gonna go fuck. And we just get dive bombers. 
Victory will be achieved by annihilating the enemy's ground forces. We must focus on supporting our armies with tactical strikes against the cluster deep targets. Reclaim former African colonies. Asia is not the only place where we formerly had the holdings. Uh, that has since been lost. Our territory towards in Africa are still of interest to us, and we should do with utmost to regain them and integrate them once more. Yeah. Well, overall, it's not bad. It's very nice. I don't necessarily want to sink that British Navy because I do want to use them, actually, as well. So, oh, we sunk a battleship. I'm gonna go ahead and approve uh, these ones off screen once the video's done. Uh, jet engines, yes. No, darn it. Well, helicopters, it, it is them. Nice. Oh, oops. See if you still have gold reserves? Sure. Hmm. War bonds. That's pretty good. What do we not have? Resource usage. Build one noble bind, another one, why not? Because we can. Ooh. Early subs we expect. What is going on now? Why can we not win? Oh. We should use the tanks here too. Don't make us an alien bait again. They're just stacking bodies. That is so stupid. They got a lot of planes, though. Hmm. I think I'm going to nail invade again. You can go back to being a normal infantry division. Super heavy already, huh? Force engineers at least. It doesn't seem like it really does that much extra damage. that for now. Right, go from here to there. And have to go from here to up there. And now I'm gonna throw you in here. Way closer. Quite strange. Mm -hmm. Second Ljubljana award. Yeah. And we're holding pretty darn well against them. As we should. Here, I'm not sure why we're not holding out. Why are you. Hello? You know what? You're here. You find their naval stuff. I want to take uh, half of you. Go here, here. 
Uh, if you go here, go here. Find their ships and blow them up. Well, there goes the uh, one group. Nice. Mediums, it's not bad. 39, better. These guys are good too. Hello. Carbo Greece to the Tsardom of Bulgaria. The territory that the Bulgarians considered the, uh, her own was handed to Greece after the Second Balkan War. Oh wow, look at that. We lost quite a few things here. If we write this wrong, we bind Bulgaria to us. However, they're not strong enough to claim it on their own. Was it worth through the Trazoite or the ally for us? And of course, the same thing too. Wow, that is not good for us. What happened to our guys? Anything to preserve the peace? We'll get there eventually. What is this? Oh, we need Luxembourg. I do not have Luxembourg yet. A triumphant will? Well, I guess we can go with that one too. The capital cities of the victory of the Great War in our hands. We can finally cast off the shadow of our defeat. A new age is dawning for Germany. Pretty much. Uh, demonstration of military achievements. Our history is saturated with great military achievements. By acknowledging that what our troops have currently achieved will be another of these great military achievements, we can heighten morale and further increase their loyalty towards us. German army invincible. Though many achievements and victories our armies earn for itself on the battlefield, we have proven to the world that despite what the demagogues may say, the German army is truly invincible. Supreme leader. Oh. Well, we'll get there eventually. Bribe senior officials to ensure loyalty from our senior officers towards the Fuhrer. We should consider awarding loyalty and obedience. By offering money, land, and tax exemptions, we ensure that not only they remain loyal, but also they'll stay in our land and not question the big daddy. Forms and Thraplanum. The world has exposed shortcomings in our armaments efforts, shortcomings we must address. Forming a central planning board with members from the government, industries, and military, we can coordinate economic policies and redirect resources efficiently to bolster arms production, support our national goals, and military supremacy. But I think we're in it there. We've done really well. We'll continue finding them off screen a little bit too and see what happens. Proclaim the new order eventually. Um, yeah, uh, the Brits the Brits are fine really hard, but uh, they're going to crack. They will eventually crack once they run out of fuel and whatnot. So Because they're, they're slowly running out. So and they have a uh, running out of equipment too so if you enjoyed the video please consider leaving a like subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below and i'll see you tomorrow as we'll hopefully capitulate the brits and hopefully end the allies thanks for watching have a great rest of your day